Hello everyone, so in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create an offline diary app using the MIT App Adventure. So here we go. So click on the new project and my project name is diary or you can just say notes or something app and click on OK. Using this app, you can note anything, whatever you want, and you can access it without any internet. So that's really amazing. So let me show you how we can do this. So this is our first screen. Okay. Now I'm going to use here the layout in the left side, you'll find the layout. So let me just close this user interface, click on layout and drag and drop vertical arrangement and make this with an hide is fill parent simple. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just add here one text box where we can write here the any text. So you can see the text box is this, but I need to write a multiple lines, right? So what I'm going to do here, click on this text box in the right side, you will see here the option of width and height. So for a width, 80% look fine, 80% and I'm going to make that multi-line. As you can see here, checked this multi-line, just checked this. And now we need to make sure that height, that should be around 50% like this. Cool. Oh, you can do one more thing here for the height section, height make it fill parent like this. Okay. Now drag it off again, one more text box here. And I need to drag and drop, click on user interface and click on here the layout and see the horizontal arrangement. Just drag and drop it here after that text box and make this with this fill parent like this. Okay. Now I'm going to make all the thing in a center. Click on vertical arrangement and make the center and center horizontal align like this. Now I need to use some colors, but I need one button, two buttons here. First button to save my notes and another button to cat my notes. So click on user interface and just drag and drop one button here and let's design this button you can just say here the read or sorry save you can just say here and i'm going to make that with this also fill parent i'm going to use one more button so just drag and drop or you can just copy paste that button just copy paste like this another button name you can just mention here the read like this okay and make all the thing is like bold uh, button text make it at least 16 or 18 something for the same for the save button also do this it's like this then now i need to change the color combination of my app here okay so i'm going to use the other another website so here's the color plate so we can use this so i'm going to use this color plate so i'm going to use this one color okay lighter color for the background okay so i'm going to just click on the vertical arrangement and make the background color custom and just change it to the done here like this and I'm going to just change the screen background color also. So background color, you can make it none or I'm going to make it the custom is like to this one. Like this. Now I need to change the background color of the horizontal arrangement. So I'm going to make it as a none like this. And I'm going to just change the background color of button. So for the save this, I'm going to just green one is fine. Okay. So change the text color to the white and the background color i'm gonna make it the custom and make it green some this one okay and uh, do one more thing here for the read i'm gonna use that orange yellow something and for the another button just click on this change the background color custom and just add it like this i think let's try to add the text color to the black let's see how this will work this is not uh, good like i'm gonna make it white is fine okay so we have two buttons we have the one text box i need to just change that hint text to something like you know write write a note like this and for this text box another text box i'm gonna just say here file name okay to re save oblique read okay so whatever your file name you need to mention that name to read on save i'm gonna make that text box is around with this like again 80 percent same that's good so this is the over overall app let's click on the screen i'm going to change the screen name to the like this cool so this is our overall app design now let's do the coding how we can save the notes how we can add new notes okay so it's simple it's like let's in the left side you will see here the option of let's close the user interface close layout so you can see in the social or storage option here in the storage you will see the file just drag and drop it Okay. Now one more thing we need to do, click on the user interface and we need to just drag and drop the notifier also. That's it. Now let's go to the block. Whenever someone click on the button one like this here. So I need to save my content and which content I need to save. 
I need to save my text box this one content okay this is the multi line so you can add the multiple lines here okay because we have just checked it here right where is that multi line is this one we have just checked okay let's go to the block so whenever someone click on this button so whatever the text is we need to save it so click on the file and you will see here the file is save file save file just call it here and the text which text we need to save we all know that text box one dot text okay but file name so i'm gonna put the text box to dot text but i need to add the extension here because user will not going to add the extension and it's good so i'm gonna go click on text and join this call it here and uh, another just text and just put it here and just add dot txt because we are saving all the file in the txt format okay that's it cool now if you want to read it so but after successfully you know that save the file so we need to use some notifier to notify us that file is saved or not so click on notifier as you can see here so you will see here the so message dialog this one but when we need to call here click on the file and you will see here the after file saved okay so after file saved we'll call this okay and you can just send the message here okay so i'm going to use the text and the message title and this is the button for the button i'm gonna just say here the okay okay for the title i'm gonna just say here a status okay for the message i'm i'm gonna say here the file name okay get file name so i'm gonna use here two things like text box i'm gonna use again join here the file name and this so the file name space saved successfully like this okay so whatever if the file name suppose the you know tcb.txt so that will say tcb.txt saved successfully that's it okay now we need to read the file so how we can do this how uh, okay i want to uh, i want to just tell you one thing that all these file will save in your android phone okay and that will save in the app directory so you don't need to worry about where uh, i'm saving the file and if you want to read it so you need to go to the data of your android file manager data and under the data option you will see the app name under the app name you will find all the files in your phone okay now click on the file again and you can see here the read option is like read 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 from so from which file i need to read so first of all i need to click on the button 2 so whenever someone click on the button 2 so i need to file read which file i need to read so the text box 2 this one so but i need to call here the extension also so like this so text box 2 so first let's see here this is the text box 2 okay so text box 2 suppose someone say the tcb so that will say tcb.txt i need to read but once we call it so we'll get the data so how we can display it so we can see the got the text once we got a text then i need to display the text in my text box 1 okay so i can just say here text box one dot text this one here is like this text like this now what i'm gonna do here whenever someone submit the file save the file i need to uh, you know clear the data like i need to clear the file name i need to clear the that text that uh, that the person has written over here so how we can do this go to the block simply text box one dot text is here this one so after saving the file after saving the file i'll call this here okay this one and i'm gonna save it as like you know this one and this is the null like this both thing i need to do is like you know um, i need to do one text box for the one and text box two for the both is going to be uh, like this like this great so after the reading i need to display the data that's it so that's the overall app okay so if you want to run so let me just run this how this will work one thing you can do here i'm going to use a one label okay between both buttons okay and remove the text from that label and i need some width here so around three or four or five percent i can make like this okay now let me just run this app how this will work connect ai companion now you can see this is our app now write a note so suppose let's try hello this is solo and file name is like tcb let's click on save tcb.txt saved successfully that's great okay and it's planned okay now i need to read it so how can i do this so for that i just need to type here tcb okay here's the button click on read 
you can see hello this is sort of right now if you want to write anything other thing okay so suppose i'm gonna just remove it and i'm just gonna say here hi this this file is and i'm just copy paste this multiple times like this okay this is my data now i'm gonna save it by the name of you know mit that's it okay now i'm gonna just save it click on save and see mit.txt saved successfully okay now i want to read the tcb file so i'm going to just type here tcb here okay and let's click on the read and you can see hello this is sort of this is the file that we have saved tcb file okay previously now i need to get the mit file click on mit and just click on the read this is the file so this is really amazing app so if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye